Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rat here from Rat Tarot and this is going to be Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon and Cancer Rising monthly tarot reading for September 2018. So uh, while I'm shuffling the cards in case you are interested in a private reading with me my website is written down below in the description of the video and there you can find the services and the prices for those services and um, currently uh, a summer's end sale is running which adds 10 minutes on the top of the 30 minute um, service so that being said let me finish the shuffle and we're going to the spread which is going to be a seven card spread for the month for cancers so cut okay. and the first card here will uh, represent the past circumstances which are impacting your month then we do have the topic of the month itself or this is the month itself third card here represents uh, the future outlook or what you can go for should you choose to <clears throat> the uh, next card it is showing up the uh, best possible approach toward the situation here or toward the topic of the month then we do have a fifth card which uh, points to the attitude of the people that are involved into your situations so that will be what the people think and what they uh, what intentions they do have towards you then is the uh, challenges to be taken and the last one is the final outcome or how the month is going to end what will be you know how you're going to capitalize on whatever the month has to offer to you so let's see what you do have here cancers now the first card that will be the uh, king of pentacles so as a past circumstances this speaks that you have done a, a fine job in the previous month for what it seems especially consolidating your positions either career wise or relationship wise and i have no doubt that this is going to play a, a huge role into your uh, into your current month so i do expect somewhere over here to have a, a huge spike either toward a toward a, a positive or a, a negative um you know or to what their negative side but in either way because you have done a, a good job in the past you know to um, finalize your project you know find the means necessary for example or settle disagreements into your relationship etc etc even if the spike is from the negative side is not gonna have such a tremendous negative impact upon um, upon your month but if it is on the plus side then it will be um, it will be exponentially better than uh, than what it was supposed to. So this month, just from that card, cancers, it seems that it can go only uh, only upwards rather than uh, rather than downwards. So you can expect that you can do upgrades here rather than downgrades with either your career or with either your relationship. Now the King of Pentacles also may point to one more thing is that you have brought some um, some help into the matter here and that help will play a huge role into the month that is coming that help could be regarding your relationship or your career you know or any single other thing uh, in your life but what matters is, is that the help you have brought in will expect some compensations so be ready for that in case this is um, this is how the card manifests for you and then the next card here shows yeah look at that I told you that we do have a spike and a spike that we will have a spike and a spike is what we do have so you uh, I'm kind of excited here, <laughs> all right. <laughs> so you, because because the cards are really speaking, guys. I mean that is kind of like a very rare conditions for the um, for the general readings. I mean when when you do have questions, it's it's a very different type of reading. But general readings, I don't like to do them. You know, I don't believe that the cards are meant for that in particular. But hey, here I am doing it, doing them. Anyway, so you consolidate your positions you settled whatever had to be settled into your relationship you know you brought friends into the matter to help you with something and now we do have the full card which is the brand new beginning you 
reached a, a completion here with the King of Pentacles consolidating your positions in either of your uh, fields of your life and now it's time to glance on a different horizon. Now it's time to dream big. Now it's time to give expressions to your ideas. So the full card, a very broad one, could manifest in so many gazes you cannot even imagine. So I will give you just a, a couple of them. That could be um, a creative chaos. You attend into certain enterprise or undertaking that you have a little clue about, but because you know you have done a great job in the past, now you do have the ability and the opportunity to learn new skill, uh, to learn new knowledge as well, and in generally to involve yourself with something amusing that you um, thus far could not have the chance to do so, or. It could reflect an interactions with people, with a certain person, society of people, or uh, a social circle as well. You know, and uh, this uh, uh, this interaction will have a extra total lack of premeditation here. So it's going to be a, a sincere interaction with these people. There will be um, the, whole, the whole conversations will be a conversations of honesty, of, uh, of candor as well. And um, if in case, you know, this is with someone that you have interest in, you know, especially romantic one, this card is a sign that everything can happen. So uh, you should not exclude the possibility here that uh, you can actually make that relationship. And what a good thing about this card is that it kind of totally ignores the uh, uh, lack of equilibrium into the, into the social status. So you can be as poor as mouse and the other one could be as rich as lion, but that, that, that will not matter as we do have the full card, you know. Or you could be, um, excuse me for that particular um, for that particular equation, but let's say you can be the sanitarian into the company and the, the other one could be the owner of the company, that will not matter as we do have the full card. This is but the most pure one that does not care about social statuses, money, you know, even, uh, even intellect, if we say it that way, only cares for sincerity, it cares for candor, and it cares for being open-minded, being uh, being ready to jump, to take the leap of faith, and to welcome everything new that is coming on the horizon. So, uh, what you can go for here, how the future looks, and another card for a new beginning. Now, this is the page of wands, and as I said, uh, friends into the matter, connections into the matter here. The Page of Wands from another hand uh, tells you that you can totally do it on your own. You don't have to use help here because the page is the most, this page especially, is the most strong when it's on your own because uh, when there is another peop other people involved into its undertakings, he kind of feels stifled because uh, that page has those seemingly immature and crazy ideas, especially ideas of how to approach certain situation that other people could see a little bit crazy, you know, and it could not be very agreed with. And especially if those people were very well tied to the situation with, um, with finances, let's say, or they have invested in it, you know, um, they could uh, cause you a little bit of a predicament to initiate your ideas and to do the things your way, <clears throat> should I say that way. Um, when it comes, however, to a career reading here, um, the page may represent that you are a little bit of uh, surpassing yourself and you are sharing your ideas without making much of a sense, all right? So this is what something you can go for. So whenever you have an idea here, a, a, a page is a red flag, a, a warning sign that you first need to think, uh, think it thoroughly a little bit, you know, so at least you can make sense of it. Because uh, the page is very prone to speak everything that it is on its mind and sometimes it just doesn't make much sense with the not the idea itself but the idea incorporated into the current circumstances so 
hold on to that idea until the time is right if you need to and think it a little bit more thoroughly than uh, the initial um, and then initial spark of the idea itself either that idea is regarding undertaking into your relationship or undertaking into your career so the best possible approach toward the full card here is we do have the six of cups and this is about um having pleasure from everything you do. Now, uh, very similar to the Ace of Cups, but the Ace of Cups is more, is more about um, doing something new that creates pleasure in you. While the Six of Cups is attending to the already current activities that, you, that are proven, that, which, um, that are proven to uh, make you feel good, all right? So when it comes to the to the six of cups, it means that you have to incorporate uh, the uh, the pleasure with the work, right? It's it's kind of a little bit difficult to be explained, but uh, if it comes to your career, guys, this card kind of asks you to be uh, playful, to be joyful, and to just take the things with a little bit of a portion of. Um, uh, of comedy if you want to say it that way and to leave a margin for error because uh, that error could be easily fixed and the, the, the process of fixing the error will give you kind of a, a small glimpse of, of, uh, of pleasure and when it comes to uh, interactions with people then obviously this card points again to sincerity, candor and lack of premeditation whatsoever and also it's kind of like a, a card open for compromises in any case so you can make a compromise into your career or into your relationship that will help tremendously with um, open yourself a room to invite that newness that new beginning which is based on your settling down uh, predicaments and disagreements in the recent uh, in the recent past uh, so uh, let's see how the people are going to take on you here. Uh, that is envy. That is envy and jealousy. Now people will want to be at your place here. We do have the devil card. So this is could uh, could manifest as oppression, especially um, if if it is more about a professional connection with those people. Definitely an oppression. It is what we do have. For example, your boss may try to cut down your wings. You know. Uh, or um, in case we are in relationship, maybe um, your partner t will try to, you know, um, to exert authority in there to kind of like uh, hold your horses a little bit. Uh, the devil card, it's a little bit dangerous one because we don't really know uh, how far these people are willing to go. Luckily for you, however, it is the, the synergy in between these couple of cards isn't very good, alright? So, uh, what I'm trying to say here is that you can totally exclude these people from the equation. And in my opinion, it is what you need to do here so you can feel yourself free. That is another thing with the full card, guys. You have to feel yourself free of doing it. You need to do it for the freedom, for the sake of freedom and for the sake of um, <clears throat> starting anew that particular field of your life rather than to try to um, revive something from the land of the dead if that makes sense. So we're not talking here about reconciliation, we're not talking about here um, fixing an old project, we're talking about either brand new relationship, you know, brand new friendship, brand new job, brand new project, promotion for example which you haven't applied before of course so that is something entirely entirely new that you do have a little clue about and of course as uh, you are doing something new in your life the more newness you invite in your life the less control uh, upon you the people around you has and that will kind of make them worry here with the devil card and they will try to regain back that control just so you know 
uh, the challenges to be taken here this is going to be a hermit card uh, and that speaks for a, a, a little bit of a hesitation maybe uh, you will not be uh, very synergized with your emotions and probably this is because things will happen a little bit fast this is a air card which speaks for wind you know so um, maybe you will need a little bit of a time here just to analyze what exactly you feel about the situation and how to approach it now the hermit card it is very important in a sense of that um, one finds their calling should i say it that way so this is the drama and the dilemma here maybe you will be uh you will find it difficult either to believe that this is your calling or um what was I was about to say here um, yeah something like this or you will find yourself very re reluctant to do it because you will be convinced that this isn't your calling um, in either case uh, because it is the full card uh, th this this particular uh, agenda should be should be considered and should be explored that is my personal opinion uh, coming from the knowledge of the cards and the hermit here comes as a predicament as a challenge you know as a obstacle so it needs to be overcome so even if it doesn't feel Feel very right even if it doesn't feel that it is yours to take you should try it out just at least so you can see um, is it working out or is it not working out for you you know just just so you can see at least are you feeling joy joy doing it and just for an example for you you may be involved for example um, in a new project with a um, with the possibility to be promoted after the project is done and your promotion will include doing the same thing uh, for the future you know and you may find yourself scared or kind of like just from the sound of it you you don't think that you're gonna like it and if you are not able to overcome the predicament of the hermit and especially having the oppression of the people around you who are envying you and want to keep you in control you may deny the opportunity before the opportunity uh, is even explored and that is a, a quite of a possibility because the full card it is so unstable in a sense of that yeah you can have your new beginning but you as well may not have it if you miss it if you don't have the courage to make that leap of faith so it's very important here to have as well a kind of courage and also belief that um, improvement is needed, you know, and that sometimes you need to kind of like step out of the cliff so you can have a, li a little bit, you know, more freedom and more space, should I say that way. So uh, the last one here will be uh, the final outcome for you. Seven of Cups points to very insecure, uh, uncertain, excuse me, not insecure, but uncertain future in a sense of that something will be ex established, which um, will be uh, in a very initial state in a sense of that its, um, its success will not be able to be predicted even by the end of the month but definitely it will be much more stable here by the full card and the thing with the seven of cups uh, is that um, are, are these aims that you will have or fantasies or seeds growing will yet remain to be known so this card points that at the end again everything will be possible but this time around there will be a material foundation on it so what the cards advise you to do here or what this card is advising you to do here is to go the slow and steady path forward rather than to rush it because um, <clears throat> the seven of cups is associated with building up a, a fairy towers and um, sometimes you know we kind of like uh, how can I place it? We kind of uh, over exaggerate our expectations. So this is what you may do at the end of the month. Over exaggerate your expectations of what will happen at the end of capitalizing, you know, on the enterprise, finalizing the enterprise here or the undertaking. And uh, don't you worry uh, with the seven of cups, a failure is uh, excluded at all. Um, the very... Um, the very most 
uh, you cancers will experience a disappointment and that disappointment will get you back on track again but it doesn't have to go that way if you again are grounded if you are sober about the situation if you don't fly in the clouds you know uh, dream daydreaming and etc etc uh, but also this card um, advises you to be very careful as well because some people may try to use that good fortune which you will have of a new beginning to, to establish something on their own and the negative side could be taken uh, on your account so we are talking here for fraudulent, uh, for fraudulent schemes, you know, for unclean deals, etc., etc., for lies into one relationship as well. So you have to be very careful. Again, you need to be able to look soberly at the situation, and as soon as you, um, <clears throat> as soon as you start suspecting something, uh, something or someone, then. Um, most likely it is what you are suspecting and you have to be you know um, strong in spirit <clears throat> to raise your voice and to do what is necessary so that being said cancers this was your monthly tarot reading for september 2018 i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and in case you're interested in a private reading with me again everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video rat signing up now see you next time bye